all in this video <coughs> we will see how to perform ac analysis in lt spice so uh, one example we'll take is a low pass filter and see its response by performing an ac analysis so to construct an ac uh, low pass filter let us take a voltage source and uh, we will convert this voltage source into a AC source let us have an amplitude of 1 uh, basically uh, we are just performing only a small signal analysis right so so no need to consider uh, these parameters just, uh, give AC voltage here and you can see it becomes an AC source let us uh, try to so if you space if you give space in your uh, um, keyboard it maximizes uh, the screen so you can see here if you click here it extends uh, full extent okay that it's a uh, space is a shortcut for that and then uh, have a resistor construct so we are building basically a low pass filter and then have a capacitor here okay connect this capacitor let us have a uh, 0.1 microfarad which is commonly used capacitor for for the decoupling bypass and uh, filtering applications okay let us ground the circuit okay so the circuit is ready the first thing that we have to do here basically is um, start the run Okay, if you start the run, the simulation starts. So for this, you have various options here. Transient analysis, AC analysis, DC sweep, and then um, we also have noise, DC transfer, and DC operating point analysis. All these analysis can be done. So for this low pass filter, we are actually going to do AC analysis. Let's go to the AC analysis and let us take a decayed uh, type of sweep. And let us take... Uh, from 10 points and we'll start from 1 hertz basically by default it takes hertz 1 hertz uh, till 100 kilohertz okay uh, you can see here this is the syntax dot ac analysis uh, type of sweep and number of points and uh, start and end frequency when you click it appears here okay and then automatically the waveform window opens up now once the waveform window opens up we can click on the node where we want to check the output. This is the output, right? Just click on the node. Okay. You can see the plot here. Now, uh, basically, what is the um, cutoff frequency for this filter? It's basically the 3 dB bandwidth, right? So now to check um, uh, the... <coughs> signal where uh, it is down by minus 3 dB from its actual value uh, that is a maximum frequency till which it can support so for this just uh, click on this and what happens is you can see this window that appears and the cursor also appears you can see one so when when you hover over this one appears so just try to drag okay when you try to drag you see uh, the magnitude changing here that is actually the gain right so let us see the magnitude and see where it is uh, dropping by minus 3 db okay so if you see approximately you can see it is dropping around 16 kilohertz so that means this particular low pass filter uh, uh, has a bandwidth of 16 kilohertz. Now let us try to calculate uh, this theoretically and see um, what happens. So for a low pass filter, the bandwidth can be calculated by using the formula 1 by 2 pi RC, right? So 2 into and then pi into 100 into 0.1 microfarad, right? 0.1 into 10 x to the power of 5 6 which is minus which gives this value and then if you do 1 by x you can see it is 15915 which means 
15.9 kilo edge, nearly 16, right? Here it's uh, um, not minus 3 dB. So if you actually take minus 3 dB, this is the uh, frequency. So this is how we perform AC analysis. And we took a simple low pass filter example. And you can see the theoretical calculation and the practical uh, thing matched. Now you can go back to your blackboard or something, uh, try to use the circuit and simulate it and uh, record the practical values. Thank you. Please post if you have any questions.